Now we're speaking with the ride captain, Corporal Brian Burke. Yeah, you got to keep all these guys in line out there on their own. It's a tough job, but somebody has to do it, as they say, yeah. So talk a little bit about the route. I mean, we've been saying, you know, it's a 10-day ride, but where all do you go? And, and uh, you know, do you have an idea of, like, the kind of distance that you cover? Sure. We, uh, it's a 10-day ride. Uh, we cover approximately 1,000 kilometers. Wow. Yeah. We uh, leave, left Kelowna this morning. We're going to head to Soyuz and over to Cranbrook, and then up to Golden, from Golden over to Kamloops. Kamloops down to Vernon and then back to Kelowna. Wow, that, that's that's a, that's a long drive, let alone a bike <laughs> ride. Yeah, it is, it is. And you know, touch wood, uh, the rain's holding off today, so hopefully it'll stay that way for the yeah, rest of the ride. Yeah, I've been watching the clouds gather and thinking about you guys out there on the road. Yeah, you bet. It's, uh, but uh, as we've said several times this morning, the adversity that we're going to face in the bike is nothing that the uh, the families that, and and their children are facing that, uh, and that's why we're doing this ride, uh, to raise money and awareness for children that uh, require assistance for medical uh, aids and uh, they can't access it through other means like BC Medical and uh, the fantastic part about this ride is that it's the first charity I've been involved with where I can actually see the money coming in and then items going out to families and and see the recipients firsthand and, and see how much impact it has in their with their lives. That's right I mean you guys get the, the unique opportunity to meet some of the families yeah. that this ride helps all along the way right? That's correct uh, we met a few this morning three and uh, there'll be some more down in Penticton this afternoon um, I've been personally involved with a few in Penticton, and uh, um, it, uh, you get a little misty eyed sometimes when you're when you're uh, you see what uh, what it does for these families. It's and I guess that's what gives you the oomph to get up anarchist or something like that. <laughs> it right? does. It, yeah, when you you think you're having a tough day, and uh, you realize that half an hour, an hour is uh, is nothing compared to these people that may have to live a lifetime with uh, with a situation that uh, they have to deal with. So has there been one moment in this in this whole thing that, that really brought home to you the importance of doing this? Because I know that you get to meet some of the families along the way. Yeah, last year uh, we met a little girl named Isabel down in Summerland, and her mom was telling us about some of the struggles that she had. I think she was about uh, six or seven when we met her, maybe a little bit younger, and, and doctors had written her off basically when she was just a little one in the hospital and told mom three times she wasn't going to make it. Mom eventually came back and said, no, she is, just stop saying that. And I had an opportunity to stand beside her. I put my hand on her back, and I don't have big hands, and I could not believe how small she was. And I, I was like, this little one has gone through so much already. That's not fair, you know. And, and that stuck with me. I can't, I can't get her out of my mind. And uh, it's, it's kids like that, you know, situations like that with the families that you can't go away. You get the bug and you're stuck. And I guess that's what goes through your mind when you're going to make those big climbs and, and put up with uh, the inclement weather and, and just the, the, the exhaustion of it. Yeah, absolutely. And today we were given these little uh, uh, crafted gifts from one of the little girls that was at the breakfast this morning, and we've all got it on the front of our bike. So that's pretty inspirational to see something like that. All right. Well, have a safe ride out there. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.